good day everybody today is the 8th of July and we're almost getting to the middle of winter here in Australia today is a beautiful sunny day here in Grafton absolutely beautiful we had I think Monday Tuesday Wednesday I think it was were overcast and raining and it was just not good but beautiful the last couple of days been amazing Today I have got Joy. Joy is the Joy Kit by Samantha Gregory, who is an Aussie. Aussie. She, I got. I went to the Australia. No, it wasn't. This Adelaide Reborn Doll show about four or five years ago. I think it was. I can't remember. And this is one of the babies I got from there. And she was, her artist, it was Gay Smith was her artist. Um, Joy, I kept the name Joy because it's similar, mum, my mum's second name was Joyce. And so it meant I had to buy this reborn because of the name. And of course, I kept her name. A trip to Adelaide was amazing. If you want to check in my playlist and I've got a lot of playlists of different things my holidays and everything just go and check you'll see one for Adelaide I think it was 2018 about I think it was October it was a good trip to Adelaide really good I enjoyed it especially when I went to the bottom of Australia where the ferry goes to Kangaroo Island is the bottom of Australia and it was so amazing so amazing now the the biscuit I have got this week is this one so Sally you will recognize this which is a ginger nut I don't know where the nut comes from because there's no nuts in it but it's got ginger at one stage every state in Australia they were, they were made differently. I remember years ago I used to buy them and the only way you could eat them was dunk them because they were so hard to bite. But I think it was, I don't know, was it last year? I think it was. I can't remember when it was. I decided it had been a while since I've had them because they were too hard to eat. Because sometimes I just like a couple of biscuits over night time when I'm in bed and, you know, sometimes your stomach is... is Still a bit empty and to help you get to sleep you've got to have something in it so I usually ha have a couple of these and where was I I don't know where the ginger nut I brought these and they're back to the original but when I unpacked these and did took my package yesterday I think they're small they shrunk I don't know I did weigh these, but I'm not quite sure. I forget how much, maybe 10 grams, I think they weigh for one of these. One of these has got seven, sorry, no, 32, not 30, 37 calories. Um, each item we buy has always got the cooler jewels or calories on the package. So when it's, it's good for those who are actually counting our calories to lose weight. And... In saying that, uh, today is Saturday, it was a weigh-in day. I have lost another half, a, I was going to say half a kilo, actually, it is half a kilo. <laughs> I lost 500 grams, which is the basic of how much I want to lose. That's the calories I have per day is that. But sometimes you might lose more, some less, or none, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um... And this is a ginger nut. I love ginger nuts. They're good dunkers. Where you dunk them in your tea. And I, I'm not a, I don't drink coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. Although once I did, um, I'm going back to when I used to work in aged care. In aged care facilities. And it was a busy day. And someone asked me, do you want, what do you want? I told them. So when I went to drink it, it was coffee. And the girl said, but you asked for coffee. I thought, why? I thought, I don't drink coffee. 
I think I might have ages ago, but I'm a tea person. I love my tea. So they're, they're good dunkers. Do you know what a dunker is? You dunk it in your tea and it's nice and soft and you eat it that way. But you've got to be careful that you don't hold in, the, in, in there for too long, otherwise it falls off. So ginger nut. Mm. Excuse me. Um, we these are two two dollars fifty a pack. I think there's about I don't know my how much is in a packet. I don't know. Sometimes you get them on special for two dollars, and then I usually get a couple of lots. I have these. I have these for lunch. I um, first of all, I, as I said last week, the other day, I was going to talk more about my fitness pal. This is. I have lost weight with this before. Um, back in 2012, I had lost 19, 20 kilos with this same way I'm doing is counting my calories. And I find for me, this is the way to do it because I'm eating food. I'm eating the food that I like to eat. I can still have chocolate if I want to. And I want to. I can still, I can have whatever I want. I eat bread. People say, when you want to lose weight, get off the carbs, no bread. And I thought, I've lost weight by eating bread. I love my bread. So I am not giving up bread. I just add it into my daily allowance. My daily allowance is based on my height, my age, my weight, and my fitness level, which is what I do a day, which is nothing. <laughs> so my daily allowance of calories, I say calories because, I think I'm up, up angle here. I said up. I, calories sound, to me, sound better than coolidgeals. Coolidgeals is a lot higher than calories. Um, I'm not quite sure what the average daily allowance is per day, but for me to lose half a kilo a week, I have 1,860 calories. And my fitness power, that has changed. Not really, it hasn't, it hasn't, it's changed, but it ha it changed in a way that when I do lose weight, they're not taking calories away from me, okay? In the past, when I was on there, um, it was when you lost weight, you'd also lose calories. So I thought, which was that pretty stupid? Over the last few years, I have tried so hard. Get on, I'll be at a stage where, okay, I'm okay. I'm ready to lose weight. So I start, then something happens which upsets me, and then... I fall off the wagon again but for some reason um, maybe I'm feeling a lot better with myself I'm feeling good um, I'm in a happy place I said I think happy place I think what really said at this time was when I went to the doctor a few weeks back and I got on those scales and yeah because over Christmas and all that I just ate I mean I just ate what I wanted to eat. <laughs> ate what I wanted to eat. And I ate more than I really should have. Um, and I'd be over full and it was just no. I'd buy I know I discovered this thing on um Facebook this company sell lollies. You can buy, you can buy two kilo lo lollies for for the price of one kilo. I thought, stuff it, so I brought them. And I ate them all. I think in a week or two, they were gone. Two kilos of lollies. That's, I think I did that about two, three times. And I just, in two weeks, all these two kilos of lollies were gone. And I was at the stage where I didn't care what I was eating. I didn't care what I looked like. I didn't care, not what I looked, but my weight. It just, I didn't care. Um, because mental health was really out there because of the fall I had. 
And I, it was that turning point, of, as I said earlier, when I went to the doctor and I stepped on the scales and the scales shocked me. Um, and thinking now, I have lost, what have I lost? I've lost five and a half kilos. Is it five and a half? Yep. Five, I've lost five, as of today, I have lost five and a half kilos. I think. Well, it's a, because up lump is five, I lost 500 grams, which is half a kilo, so it's five and a half kilos. Um, but with my fitness pal, as I said, it's by calories. And it's weighing, and it's measurements, and it's some people say, oh, I can't do that. Um, but it is like, you've got to have, first of all, you need a, a set of bathroom scales. Of course, you need to weigh yourself once a week. After you go to the loo and before you, you eat, before your food. You, so I got up this morning. Of course, I had a rush to the loo. And then I weighed myself before I had a, even a drink of water or anything. That's when I weighed myself. What you also need is a set of kitchen scales. Um, I know my scales I've had for years, and I can have them in grams or I can have them in ounces. It's both ways. Um, you also need measuring spoons. Like, I actually bought a couple which I use, are the ones I use all the time to measure. Like this one. This is... A tablespoon this is a tablespoon see um winter either I have hot wheat fix I might put her down so I'm sh I actually brought the wheat fix in with me excuse me I know we shouldn't eat but you know what people drink on here so who cares so in my cereal, my breakfast is wheat fix. I love my wheat fix in summer or in winter. But in that that summer winter wheat fix, they're different to how I have them. In summer, I will have milk on my wheat fix. But in summer, sorry, in winter, I will have hot water because it's cold. Um. And this is where this comes on. This is how I, this is how I measure my sugar. That is a quarter of a teaspoon. And um, I put, as at the quarter, I measure this for my tea, and also on my wheat fix. That's where I mostly have my sugar. Um, um, when I first started this winter, when it got cold, I had to work out how much sugar I needed on my hot wheat fix because it needs more sugar on the hot than it does on the cold because the, the um, hot water dissolves it and gets rid of it. So I started off with three teaspoons, which is three, four, 12 of these. Then I realized that was too much. So I just keep cutting it down until I felt it was a sweetness that I liked. And now I'm down to one and three quarter teaspoons. That is, at the moment, I was having two teaspoons, but I felt, no, that was a little too sweet. So now I've cut it back to one and three quarter teaspoons, which is seven of these. This is always in my sugar bowl, my sugar container. And that's what it is. But even though I, I'll come to that part later. Now, this one, this one. Is what I use when I make a cup of tea and also at the moment in winter for putting milk on my cereal, on my wheat bix. When I have a cup of tea, I use four of these. That is a perfect amount for a nice hot cup of tea. And for my hot wheat bix, I only put one. One of these. Um, as I said, that is a one teaspoon, which is 15 mils. So I have 60 mils of milk in my tea and 15 on my cereal. That way 
Omni Wheat Bix Hot Wheat Bix. It's just enough to get the hotness of it, and it's still hot, and it's beautiful. Now, for those people who have no idea what a Wheat Bix is, um, I think um, the English have something called Wheat Bix. I'm not quite, it's probably the same thing. Excuse me. I brought my whole container. <laughs> this is Wheat Bix. They are an Aussie thing. Aussie kids. Oh, Wheat Bix kids. Aussie kids. Oh, Wheat Bix kids. Now, this is the Wheat Bix. It's like flakes of, I don't know what it is. They are so yummy. I remember we were kids, we'd come home from school, we'll actually put jam or Vegemite and butter on these and have them as a snack. Now for these, I have 30 grams of these for breakfast. That is a serve of wheat bix. Although some say it's two biscuits, which is that much, that is a serve, but it may... It probably would weigh more than 30 grams. And the way I do my week fix is I crumble up in the bowl. I can remember when I was with my ex up north, I would do crumble up in the bowl, especially in winter time with the hot water. And he said, oh, that looks like soup. That is beautiful. I love my week fix of a morning. Sometimes I'll have week fix at night. And I thought, what am I going to have tonight? I know the night before weighing, which was last night, I kind of work out what I'm going to have. And sometimes, like last night, I had some fish. Fish with a bit of barbecue sauce. I think that's all I had last night. I didn't even have a cup of tea. I've been good. I have been under my calories each day this week. Um, and as I said, counting calories might not be for everybody. Because I said you got to weigh, you got to measure everything that you put. And also, my fitness pal is they've got a website and they've also got an app. Um, the one thing when you first sign up with, um, you got to find, you got to have a username and everything. Uh, I've I've signed up so many times. <laughs> on this site I figured what am I going to call myself this time I thought stop it I just signed in with Facebook as how can it come as that Celia O'Neill when my I'm Cecilia O'Neill on Facebook I have no idea so I just signed in as Facebook and that's how it goes and I have had a few rocky bumps but when you've had a bad day, the next day is a new day and you start again and you do what you want. As I said, this is what I had for breakfast. I had 30 grams with one and three quarter teaspoon of sugar, with milk, with hot water and 15 mils of milk. That was breakfast. And of course, now I'm eating this. My fitness pal is actually a diary where you keep track of what you eat. Um, and it, as I said, it gives you the calories per day. When you sign up, you've got to put your height. Your height. I think I've said this earlier. You've got to put your height, um, your age. I think you've got to put your age. I can't remember. And also the weight you are at present. So that's why you've got to have a set of bathroom scales to weigh yourself so you know what you are. So, and you pour that in and and you set your exercise level, what you do most of the time. Most of the time I'm sitting on my cute ass, so that's I put sedentary. So that gives you the amount of calories that you have every day. Um I not a cook. Um I don't I don't like cooking. I used to in the past got to the stage where it's just I just it's been it's too much time, too much time and effort and doing things and I don't know. Maybe I was hoping to get back into it for winter. Then I thought, no, I've got to buy all these ingredients. And I thought, mm. there was a beautiful recipe I like. 
chicken and gravy is and i used to add veggies to it absolutely beautiful but the one thing when you do your cooking you're going to get the calories of each ingredients then when you serve them out you work out how many how many calories in each served at just say you do a meal and you get i don't know six servings you add up all the calories in each item you put into that meal and divide it by seven and that's the calories you have per meal and in my fitness pal you can create like a meal like my breakfast with my i have my breakfast i have all i've had to put in was the wheat fix the sugar and the milk and i can save that and i save that meal as hot wheat fix i've done the same for my summer one which is cold wheat fix but it's different because it's got a half a cup of milk and only i think it's only got half a teaspoon of sugar it's got less sugar because you've got the milk for lunch for lunch today i think what am i going to have for lunch today i thought i will have an egg sandwich so i actually have i i love fried egg sandwiches absolutely beautiful i actually have a i was going to download the app onto my tablet so i go through it i have an omelette maker and i use this to fry my eggs it's perfect so you heat up this omelette maker and you pour your egg it's got two separate compartments like what you want to make two omelettes so you pour i have two eggs so I put two eggs on one side and you close the lid down and it, the eggs egg cook and by the time that cooked my water is boiled from my cuppa and what i have with on the egg sandwich i put i love i don't like tomato sauce i like barbecue sauce i put some barbecue sauce on one slice of bread no butter i haven't had butter in a long time now i used to have margarine even when i moved here i used to buy finger buns from woolies woolies got beautiful finger buns and plus i meant i had to buy some margarine to put on it so i'd get home and i'll have the um finger bun for lunch and then i'll have a finger bun for tea then i'll have the same the next day that's how i didn't eat them all together but now I don't have them anymore. Um, I don't know what calories are in them at the moment. And then going back to my egg sandwich, barbecue sauce. Of course, um, I put the slice of bread on the scales, with my kitchen scales. I set it to zero, and then I squeeze the amount of sauce that I want on my bread that I want on there, and I write that down so that I know how many grams of tomato sauce barbecue sauce that i've got then when the eggs are cooked i put the eggs on top of the barbecue sauce then the final ingredient is a slice of cheese slice it's got to be sliced cheese because it's already sliced because when you put the slice of cheese on top of the eggs then you put the other slice of bread on top of that and the eggs are still hot and it kind of melts the cheese a little bit that's my lunch today which i'll have a cup of tea and i'll have probably a couple of bickies so everything i eat that goes in into this opening in my face i put in my diary um and it tells you how many calories you've eaten for the day and how many you've got left and so that you can that's where it comes into counting calories and if you've got a couple of hundred calories left over and you want a bit of chocolate or you want something you work that into your calorie allowance like the other day i was looking at something and i had a craving i wanted some bananas lolly bananas oh i should have brought them as well and i thought woolly coles had them on special for half price i thought i'm getting some lolly bananas so I got the lifesaver ones and as i said i didn't worry about what the colors were going to be in them because i would work it into my allowance and that is how this goes um 
for tea tonight i'm not quite sure what i'm having um as i said i don't cook because work earlier i said working out the calories is a pain so i buy frozen meals anything like the frozen fish i had last night for tea um they were about 313 calories or something i think they were that's for two pieces of fish and i had a little bit of um barbecue sauce on it and that was my tea um and i was satisfied with that i go to bed and i don't feel like i've um i've overeaten my body has living on what it's going into it um i last week week before coles had these um i don't eat fruit and veg um they got sugar in them <laughs> i don't know but um i brought these they're, they're veggies that you put in the microwave just cook them and they had broccoli cauliflower carrot and cheese sauce they come frozen and i had it the other night and i thought i thought that'd be good for a meal you know but when i cooked it up i thought it's not a meal <laughs> it's like a side but then i'd have to have something for on the side to do it i thought what but i just ate that i think then i had a cup of tea and some biscuits and that was it you work your calories out and it is hard it's starting off is hard because going into into um my fitness power you've got to be careful because some of the items that have been added into the, the database on there are wrong i've had to change some of the calories they've actually even had they've had too much calories or they've had a, not had enough calories in this item so if you find something you always check the packet that you buy like ginger all these packets on every item food they have got the allowance for calories or kilojoules and if calories if you work in calories right um i know there's a website where you convert it from kilojoules to calories which i do and that's where i check everything um if, so, if i'm going something new when i first joined up i would actually if it told me it had so many cool jewels on a packet of these for a serving, I would go onto this site, put the cool jewels in, and check it and see if it's right on the My Fitness Power site. It probably think, oh, this is a lot of work, but I've got nothing to do with it. I was driving taxis when I first, when I started this way back. It must have been back 2010, I think it was. I don't know. I found, I think I found my Fit, fitness pal as an ad on Facebook, and that's what got me into it. And as I said, I lost nineteen twenty kilos, which is I have no idea how much it is. I know it's a it is a lot of weight. And I, as I said, I've now I've lost five and a half kilos. Um, and I can feel it. I always lose it in, in the boobs first. That's where I always lose it. Um, I go and see my doctor again on the 7th of September for this. Um, I go with every three months for a health check and weight check and blood pressure and all this kind of stuff. I think it's because of my age. And I'm looking forward to see what they see about, because they probably think, as other people think, oh, yeah, you that's what they say you say you're going to lose weight and that's what everybody says i know when i just before i started driving taxis i actually had to get a uniform and the uniform i had i had to get the right size because i was i don't know if i was the same size or what i can't remember anyway i when i went there to where they had to get our shirts from the guy was not very nice i said I'm looking to lose weight he said he said oh yeah everybody says that it's not going to happen but I did lose weight um, and as I said I was a maxi driver I was getting in and out of the back of the taxi with wheelchairs and everything and I had lost 
19, 20 kilos in doing what I am doing now. And it works. But I think to lose weight when you have a mental illness, it can be hard, especially when your it is mental health is playing up. Um, and I also feel that you've got to be in the right frame of mind to yeah, saying you want to lose weight, you need to lose weight, I've got to do this. Yes, but it's also you've got to in the right mindset to lose the weight. You know, it, that's what it is. You can try a diet and probably three, four days down the road, something will happen and you go off the diet, which I have in the past. I, I have been there. When I was in um, Coffs Harbour in my last place, um, I, I thought I was ready to lose weight. You've got to be ready. Wanting and needing to lose weight is different to be, being ready to lose weight. Um, people say, oh, you can just lose weight, just look, eat less. Yes, we know that. But with the mental health issues, with anything, you get upset, that all goes out the window. It's, it's hard. Unless you've been overweight or even overweight, whatever, no one else can understand what it's like to try and lose weight. No one. A thin person walking down the street cannot tell you you should lose weight, just stop eating. But it's the head part that you need to get under control to actually get in there and lose weight. Um, this, for me, this is how it is. Um, and the one thing I have learned, do not, if people are out and they're eating stuff, don't judge them for what they're eating. I can remember once, when I was sitting in the plaza in Coffs Harbour, I was eating and there was a person over there as what she was eating. And she was a large lady and I started to, in my, to myself, criticise her for judging her for what she was eating. Then I stopped. I thought maybe it's in with her calorie range. I don't know. Um, like you can still eat pizza, you can still eat other stuff as long as it's in with your calorie range. Um, I actually, the other day I thought I'm going to buy pizza, I thought, nah, um, I know what I would like, Red Rooster, I'm going to ring Red Rooster tonight to see if they still do delivery because I go onto their website and I cannot, they do, they're open but they're not delivering, so what do you do? I love the roast chicken and the veggies and the gravy. It is a lot of calories. I think it's about 700 calories. But then I've got to buy $25 worth of stuff to get it delivered. I thought that's okay because I've only got stuff left to do the next day. So like if every food, it has the calorie thing so you can actually work out how you're eating. Um, I think when it comes to losing weight, it's just as hard for people who are underweight to gain weight um, and it just that people who have always had a never had a weight problem in their life they've always kept under control they cannot understand what it's like to want to lose weight and get it off and the worst part is keeping it off like I'm 65 I'm close to 66 and they reckon as you get older, it's harder to lose weight. But it, I think it depends how you go on about losing that weight. Um, I I still have my lamingtons. I've got a lamington out, which I will have for afternoon tea. Um, I've, I get la six lamingtons every time and I freeze them. Um, and I'm going shopping be Wednesday I'm gone because I've got a plate with my counsel on Wednesday and um, I'm thinking will I go and get my lemon I think I might get, get my lemon because then I can get a pie and I don't need a lot of stuff at shopping because um, as I, I just probably just need some bread because I just did a big shop the other day where I got um, I don't go 
because in winter I don't drink as much milk as in summer. Um, in summer, I drink a litre of milk a week because I have it on my cereal. In winter, I'd, have to probably, I'd probably drink a litre of milk in a fortnight. So that goes on. And I, I buy food. I actually brought some party pies and sausage rolls, which I used to have two of each for a meal. But I have cut it down and realised I only need two of one and one of the other. It's just um, making sure that you are eating enough to feel full, but not eating too much to feel over full. Um, and I, I go to bed at night time and I feel good. Um, and it's the interest in see. I think sometimes people, especially doctors and all that, they think, I don't think he might have been 100% certain that I could do this. I did say that I have done it before, so I can do it again. But like others, I don't know, they think about that, um, I think, oh, is she going to do it or is she just saying this? You know, you don't know what they're thinking. But the time will tell when I come on the 7th of December, September, and I get on them scales, they will let, when I walk in, they should be able to notice that I will have lost weight. What's, what's, what did I say today was? The 8th. So it's just a couple of months away. Um, and in the last, I can't remember, is it a month now? I've lost 5 kilos. So if, if I keep going the way I'm going, by then I should have lost at least another between five and ten kilos so I would like to get to um, my goal weight it's actually not actually my goal weight because if you put your weight in it tells you what you should be for your uh, for your height and everything what weight you should be like it should be 70 kilos or 85 kilos but no you get to the weight where you feel comfortable with my goal weight when I've tried to lose weight in the past, and that has always been 100 kilos. But if I get to, even once I lose another 10 kilos, then what did I get down to? I must have got down to 100. I can't remember what I was down to. I can't remember. But I was feeling really good at just losing those 20 kilos that I had lost. If I could lose 20 kilos, I'm three quarters of the way there. Um, and we'll see, as I said, each week I will let you know how things are going and my weight loss. If I put on weight, I will let you know. And this will help others out there who, who are trying to lose weight. Some people um, are too scared. At the moment, I weigh 130 kilos. That is what I weigh now. So I've lost five and a half kilos, kilo, so I was 135.5 kilos. That's what I was, and I'm 100. If I can lose another 10 kilos, another 20 kilos, I will be good. N another 10 kilos will be good. But we'll see how that goes. Um, if I can lose between five and 10, I said before I see my doctor, I will be happy. Um, then when I walk into his office, then he will know that, okay, she's done it. How did you do it? Um, there are different ways in the past that I have tried to lose weight. I'm going back my whole life. I'm talking about Weight Watchers. I've been to Weight Watchers. Um, Jenny Craig. Yes, I've done Jenny Craig a long, long, while well, back. Um, and there were, at the time, I could afford Jenny Craig because you had to buy their food. Um, I did lose weight, but then I actually had to go off it because I couldn't afford to buy it anymore. And I put the weight back on. Um, and Jenny Craig, Gloria Marshall. Now, what was Gloria Marshall? What was Gloria Marshall? I have no idea what Gloria... Ma Jenny, uh, Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, Gloria Marshall. Um... I have tried light and easy, but I didn't try light and easy 
for weight loss. I just, the, the convenience of having the food. But in saying that, they put pepper in each of their dishes. And I was talking on something on Facebook and they said, oh, we can't taste the pepper. I don't like pepper. Pepper takes away the taste of, you cannot taste the food. And I can taste pepper in any, I know I get these frozen risol meals and it must have something in it, but I got a pack in that, you know. Some meals they always put pepper in. Why, I don't know. People want pepper, they can add pepper. Um, what else have I tried? I've tried shakes. There was one that I tried, I can't, I've tried different shakes. I've tried, um, what's that one? There was one, the shake. Celeb, celeb, um, celebrity Slim. I've tried them. That's when you have a shake for breakfast and a shake for meal. I've tried shakes in the whole thing. But I feel that with the shakes, once you get your weight, what do you do? You go back, eat a normal food. Then you're going to get used to eating normal food again. It's best to eat food to try and lose, eat food that you'd like to lose weight. You just don't eat as much. And calorie counting is the one that works for me. Um, I did try Weight Watchers when I was in Coffs Harbour, but it was so confusing. I mean, all these points, you get so many points and some foods have got no points. I thought, how does that work? And I, it was just really dumb. It was, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's the same with calories. I, I have no idea how... It works. I couldn't work it, so I just left. It just not. Jenny Craig, I had to go meet him once a week. Gloria Marshall, um, was that the one with the exercises? They had these machines. I think that was Gloria Marshall. I've tried them all, and I said calorie counting is what worked for me. Yes, there is a lot to it, weighing and measuring and putting in the diary what you eat. Um, I found that once you start in the di doing this diary, it keeps some food that you have. Like if when I want to eat my chocolate, add my chocolate to my diary, I just go through my food, I pick it, I weigh my chocolate, what I'm having, if it's four, four pieces, I weigh that, and I go into my diary and I change the weight of how much, just say it's 10 grams, 15 grams. And it will add that to that and give the amount of calories. It's amazing, the shock. Like last night, I had, when I was going to bed, I had 400 calories left over from the day. I thought, what am I going to do with 400 calories? Was it, was, no, was it 400? Yes. And or was it less than that? Come remember. So I thought, I'll have some chocolate. So I had six pet cubes, six squares of chocolate. And... That was it, went to bed, and that's what I had. What I found with chocolate, I buy, we get this big block. I mean, it's a big block. It's got about, I did count the squares last night. It's a lot of squares, it's big. And I just break it up. And I remember in summer, I got a block of chocolate and I left it in the lounge room. When I went out the next morning, it was melted. <laughs> That's how hot it gets here. Now it's winter. Trying to break the chocolate is hard. You've got to snap it and break it. and oh. So I put it in a container. It's the same with my, when I want to have banana. I weigh, I usually have four. I think a serving is about six bananas. I'll have four and I weigh it, which is 19 grams. And I, now I've already had them before. I don't have to search the database for it. It's there. I just pick it up and I put in how many grams it is and add it to my diary. Once you go after a couple of weeks and you're having the same food, you're having the same items, it's not so hard to find what you're looking for. You've just actually had to see the weight and measurements and everything else. Um, if, one, if anyone out there who's watching this video... 
as I said, wanting to lose weight and you needing to lose weight is different to being, are you ready to lose weight? Um, you watch these videos of this my 600 pound life um, and what you see, especially with that the Slaytons, they're all feet in their face. They're not, they want to lose weight, but they're not ready to lose weight because Tammy was still feeding her face. She was not ready to lose weight. And everybody putting her down for what she's doing, that she's got to lose weight, is no help. You just got to be in the right mindset to lose weight. And I cannot believe when I've seen her that she's lost weight and I look at her face and think, is that the same person? It's weight loss. But slow and steady is the way to go. I know they had surgery and they needed it because they got, first of all, they've got to prove that they can lose weight, that they're in the right place to lose weight before the doctor will do any surgery on them and that was go um and they have the stomach thing bobber dump i would never have that i've had i know years ago when i was in the kings there was one person at there we know that she lost weight that way but then it can also backfire where you can go back to your old eating habit and i don't know what happens to your stomach when that happens Surgery is only an option if you're really overweight and it's the only way to help you lose weight. Um, I know because when you have that weight loss surgery, you ain't can only eat so much food at a time and this is how much you have got to eat. You cannot eat any more than this, which is, would be a pain. Because I don't eat big meals. Um, my main factor was eating the wrong food and eating a lot of it i eat food because i like the taste of it people say oh that is good for you ah uh, that's not why i eat it i eat it because i like it i can remember when when i was working up at again up at kingscliff aged care i was working in the nursing home and I was helping take the tea trolley around for the club, for the residents and they had scones that day and of course I had one <laughs> walking around I had a scone and one of the workers who actually happened to be a cousin said you don't need that I said no but I want it <laughs> that's it you know if you want something if well, that's what in, in with calorie counting if you want something you have it and work out the calories so you can work it into what you're eating. Um, I'm not an expert in weight loss. I'm not a medical person. This is from a person who has done this before years ago. And I know this is what works for me. It works for a lot of people. I know some people um, go overboard. There are people who weigh themselves every day which is a no-no. You weigh yourself once a week. My scale, my bathroom scales are in the bathroom. They're nice and handy, so after I do a wee, whatever I do over morning time, I go there. Then I go, and the worst part is winter, when it's cold, you gotta strip off. <laughs> That's like when you go to the doctor, I know when I went the last time I had to get on the scales, off cut me jumpers, off cut my shoes, you know, off, if I could work any further, I could have, but I was the female, you know, I could have. But you weigh, you have much on you, less on you. At home, it's good because you can weigh yourself naked. But that's the way. I've got my glasses and my necklace and my ring, but that's not a lot. But you see people go on places and get them weighed. They leave their shoes on. Duh, take your shoes off. If you've got a jumper on, take your jumper on just have your clothes that you need to cover your body on you've got a hat a scarf take all that off um i might next time when i go i might take my glasses off to <laughs> see if that will make any difference but it won't because they're only they're only very light so as i said if you feel you are you've got to know you've got to be ready 
as I said, this is this for me. This is it. You've got to be ready. You got to know that you. Yes, the people out there, they want to lose weight. What am I going to do? I can't get out to classes. I can't exercise. I can't do this. Think of the things that you can do. I don't like that. I, I don't go. I don't like exercising. Exercise do. I walk. I walk, especially in this winter time. It's good walking into the shops. Then I sit at the park near the shopping centre, it's green, we've got seats and I sit there in the sun and I relax in the sun and it's good. To lose weight you don't really need to exercise, it's just cutting down on your calories. Make sure um, knowing what your calorie limit is today and keep a record, like my fitness pal is amazing for this, you've got a diary and you can see what you've eaten for the day. It tells you how much you've eaten and how many calories you've got left to eat. Sometimes I go in the morning and I work out what I'm having. Like I said, today I've had my weeks this morning. For lunch I'll have my egg sandwich and I'll have a cup of tea and a lemington later on. And then for tonight I'll think about what I'm going to have then. Um, unless I ring Red Rooster in order to see if they will deliver. Otherwise, I'm probably stuffed with um, party pies and sausage rolls or I might, I, have I got any quiches left? I, got, I buy some little mini quiches and I have those. Um, I buy things. I know the other day I love Devon. I love Devon. Devon on a Sanger is great. I, ordered, I got some in my last shop the other day and they've cut it thinner. It's thinner than it used to be. Oh, I know when I first got it, I thought this is thin. I got to the stage where it's now it's thinner, which means I've got to put more slices on so I can actually taste the Devon. It's ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know why they cut it thinner. They ruin things. When things are going so good, they ruin them. I'll tell you one thing they ruin. These containers, I love these containers. My cupboard is full of these containers. I love them. They are um, Systema, S-I-S-T-E-M-A. They are amazing containers. And this one is good because they've got the latch that comes down like that. Oh, bugger. That's good. But the new ones are not as, they're completely different. And the latches are actually on the lid and you push them down. Which is hard sometimes to try and find which way it's got to go. I prefer these ones, so I'm not going to buy any new ones because these. The only things that break in these is sometimes the lid will actually lose its um, tightness when it goes on. I've got one container that's like that, so I use it with something else, not for food. But these, this has got... Um, let me see. This container holds 18 meals. I actually, I look for, when I'm buying anything, I look for specials. And the other few weeks back, they had the small, I think it was 570 gram pack of wheat bix for $2.20. It was half price. So I went and I brought eight. I brought four, first I brought four from Woolies. I thought, should I get more? No, four I do. Next thing you know, Coles had it on special, so I brought another four. And one of those packets fits in this perfectly. And I love that size of Wheat Bix because it's only a small size and it's every time you open it, it's really good. But I, they did have, just have them on special that size, but not as good price as what I brought these. So which Woolies Coles app is good because you can actually add your favourites. So every time I'm going to do shop, I list through my favourites and I check to see if this size is on. Because next time they're on special, I'm really going to stock up. Because the, the life used by date is not till next year. So I think maybe I should have brought more. But I said, what to pay for a pack is $2.20. So with $4.40... For two of these packs is equal to a large one which cost 
six dollars same amount of serving size in it but i save a dollar sixty on each every time i bought two packets so i saved a bit that is what you do i do every time i shop i look for specials but sometimes specials are not that you can get something that's cheaper so i love my wheat mix some uh, so sometimes i will have this for tea love my wheat joy 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 oh look vicky Mm. Now I think what you need bathroom scales, kitchen scales. At the moment I don't use measuring cups because I don't need them in the winter because I use them for when I measure my milk and my wee picks in the summer. In the winter I use this. So, good measuring spoons, measuring cups, two kitchen scales, bathroom scales. Um, and the right mindset. A lot of people don't realise, as I said earlier, a lot of people don't realise when it comes to losing weight, it's not that you want to lose weight and it's not that you need to lose weight, it's that you're in the right frame of mind to lose weight. For me, that is what it is. And that is where you have to be. You know, it is... Ooh! <laughs> She's cute. She, I'll show you. She is a real cutie. You cute? Isn't she cute? And it said she is the joy kit by Samantha Gregory. And this one got her butt signed. Um, I have got a, she is a COA. All my kits are authentic reborn kits. And look at her, look at those eyes. She's taking a tongue out there, 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 there. She cute. And so she will be in my next changing video. So, as I said, I'm doing good. I think every time I get on the scales of the morning, I know where I've got my sales get it, my scales set up. I've got to make sure that I know this morning I was leaning against the um, something and I thought, what? So I got up again, waited, make sure that I had my arms in front of me, not touching anything, and I ah, oh, that looks good. So, five, half a kilo this week. Total loss, five and a half kilo. Um, I'm feeling good about that. Um, really good. But I feel good. I think the insides are feeling good because it's not getting all these bad. I don't mean bad, all these sugary, sweetie stuff. Um, and, yeah. I was going to take one of my babies for a walk the other day, um, but it rained. Um, and it's different here. I just can't push my baby out the door because I've got stairs to go down. Not a lot of stairs, but still stairs getting down. And it's different now um, because when I first took my reborns for a walk in the pram, it was when I went away on the holiday down to, where did I go? Foster. And that's when I first took them in the pram. So when I come back, from the holiday it was okay i felt good here it's getting a bit iffy and also take them into the shops in the town is that sometimes that um it depends how i'm going to catch a cab or if i will catch the bus because going to town i don't know how i'm going to get home but i thought maybe just to walk to alvey maybe it's just i don't it's like I'm feeling like they're going to, I didn't have it in the past, but now it's like this judging thing has come in to have the beautiful art works of art that they are. Um, there was something I was going to say. It was there, then I forgot it. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Mm. So what else has been happening? Oh, as I said, I was just going to go for a walk to Aldi and get Nana, but I didn't get there. What's the, what's the day? Saturday. Beautiful day to go for a walk. I'll be walking on Wednesday because, I got, as I said, I'm going to see my council on Wednesday. Um, I was thinking of going to walk down Fig Tree Avenue, but then if I want to get my pie... When I got a pie last time, I didn't get the one I wanted. I had to get something else. I like the... Um, the pies are not as nice as they... People say they're not as nice. It's okay for people... Because I've got... I catch a cab and I suppose... People don't like... I go to Hank's. Of course, I go there because I get my lamingtons. Now, the other week, I actually brought... I got my lamingtons pie and I got a vanilla slice and I still lost weight that week. So you can still be bad and buy food that you shouldn't eat. But if you try and work, look through the diary, look through the, um, when you search for something on, on, what is it, My Fitness Pal, um, and trying to find a, if you know a bakery who has an online site that, a lot of bakeries, I know, what is it? Baker's Delight, was it Baker's Delight? I think they have colours, or they used to. I wish we had a Baker's Delight here. They have some beautiful things. I might have pizza tonight. I got a frozen, I got me frozen pizza. If I go a little over, that's okay. I got the week to make up for that. But, you know, that's how you can do it with calorie count. If you go a little bit over one day, that's okay. You don't knock yourself about because you went over. Tomorrow is another day, and you can make up for it on that day. So, I remember after... <coughs> excuse me. I realised after last week, I forgot to finish off something I was talking about. <laughs> I did realise... My goodness, I didn't finish that off. Remember, it was a Tuesday before last. I told you I had a bad night Tuesday, and the next day, I, all I ate all day was chocolate. I spread the chocolate out over the day, and I did weigh it, and all that's just all I ate. Um, and I realised what happened is that I went onto a site to try and find someone to find someone to share my life with, and that is what actually cause me to go like that because I am scared. I'm scared to even make friends in person because in the past they leave for some I'd have no idea. Um my I thought that I was it's like I was sending off sending off vibes and they felt these vibes and didn't like the vibes. And um I told Miss my county said no it's not you. It's something to do with them. And maybe I don't know what it is. I know I'm a good person. Um, I treat people how I want to be treated. I don't attack people for no reason. I don't, you know, I don't know. I, people are nasty to me, that's their problem. If people that, I oh know I said this last time, if someone comes to you, they message you personally, somewhere they ask you a question to ignore that is rude if you do not want to answer that question say so do not ignore it you know there are people who do that and it's just plain it shows you the kind of person that you are for ignoring someone asking you a question you know it's just plain rude it turns it Find, how do I say it? I know I get mumbled up sometimes. It tells you the kind of person you are because you ignore people. 
you ignore people because they, you don't want, for some reason, the question they ask is something that you don't want, want to talk about or I don't know what the reason why you don't want to answer that question. But if, they, if that happens, if someone asks you a question and you don't want to answer it, let them know that you don't want to answer it. That's all it comes down to. Back to ignore someone, which is just plain rude. It shows the kind of person you are when you do that. And people want to ask me a question, ask me a question. That's just it. You know, if you don't like being asked questions, you shouldn't put yourself out there. What do you reckon, little one? She's adorable. She got bent legs. She's still in shorts for the summer. I haven't, as I said, I haven't changed my bait. I've been here over 12 months. Yeah, she got little bent legs. She is so adorable. What a good bit of fluff on your finger. You got a bit of fluff on your finger. See? Isn't she adorable? She's poking her tongue out at you. Mm. <laughs> As I said, she's a joy kit by Samantha Gregory, who is an Aussie. I met her over in um, Adelaide when I went over there. Her artist was Gay Smith, who I've got, I think I've got a couple of babies from her. But the last baby, oh, actually... I've actually got another baby from her, which I brought for Kit, and I wanted her to reborn it. She picks up. She was the artist for it. So, everybody, I hope you enjoy this day today. Um, as it, that was about losing weight and the way this is how I lose weight. Um, and different people have different ways to lose weight. Actually, they say on Fitness Pal... If you, lose, if you lose weight with friends, it's a lot easier, a lot easier. Really? Really? When I was on my fitness pal years ago, when I lost that 20, by friends, I mean friends on, on my fitness pal, right? They think you got friends on there, you got friends to boost you up, that will help you lose weight. I hadn't, I've had no friends on at the moment. People have actually requested I thought no I don't want that I know I don't need them to give me a boost to lose weight because that's what it seems it is you got friend there oh they'll congratulate you lost this much weight it's like you want you want approve something from other people to say that yeah to make you feel good because you have lost weight you should when you lose weight, you should feel good in yourself that you have lost weight. You don't need someone else to do that for you. Oh, it's crazy. When I lost that 20 kilos, I had no friends on my fitness pal to do that. I, but I still lost it. It's crazy. You have friends to lose weight, you lose weight. Nah, nah. Because when I went on this time, I actually put a introduction that I was back again, all this, you know. But no one responded to that, that yet there were three people requested friends. And I deleted, I don't want friends on that. I'm there to lose weight. I'm not there to make friends. I'm there to lose weight, to try and hopefully see what it's like by Christmas, you know. If I keep going the way I'm going, losing half a kilo a week, that's that is my aim that is the amount of calories i have so if you're out there if, if you know a friend who wants to lose weight they're saying oh we need to lose weight well i can't i'm finding it hard maybe suggest it to them direct them to this video about my fitness power um as i said i am not getting paid for this this is because I know this is how I've lost weight before and I know I can do it and I am doing it. And as I said, I weigh myself every Saturday morning after after loo and before food. <laughs> That's it. 
You don't drink anything before until, until after you weigh yourself. Nothing. Zilch. I don't eat anything after midnight, Friday night, Saturday morning, until I weigh myself. That's just it, you know. It's just... It is... I, I know it's hard to lose. As I said earlier, I said it all through. It's your mindset. You've got to be in the right frame of mind to lose weight. Wanting, yes. Needing, yes. We all know people who are overweight, they want this. Some people are happy being the size they are, you know. Um, for me, it's buying clothes. For me, it's my knees. I, I've got clothes, but I've, I've got the clothes I've got, I've had for years. Um, I don't mind wearing, but even though I put the weight on, they still fit. <laughs> Just like my undies still fit. Because I don't wear granny pants anymore. And yeah. But if you know someone who, lose, who wants to lose weight and they have no idea where to start, please direct them to this this video. Um, because for me, my fitness pal is the way that I know for me. There's no special foods. You don't have to drink drink your food. You don't have to, oh, if you want to eat soup, you can. You don't have to buy special food. You buy the food you normally buy. And that is all it is. Um, I, sometimes I feel like Maccas, but you've got to spend $25 to get it delivered. Then you've got a delivery fee on top of that. When all I want is just a Happy Meal. Where are the Maccas? There's KFC there. Maybe, I, I don't know, I want to get a pie. I don't know. Remember when KFC used to have the baked meals, you could eat your potatoes. Oh, that was so yummy. I'm going to have to ring. Oh. I know one day, I know my, as I said, my birthday's on the 7th. I've, I've got to work something out when I'm going to do both my birthday on the 8th. That's September, it's a, few, a couple of months away. When does your brain register how old your body is? <laughs> my brain hasn't caught up with the rest of my body in how old I am. And think, you got to think, my goodness, I'm this age. How did I get here? I lived or not lived or whatever. So people, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, this is my intake on my fitness pal this is how i lose weight my fitness pal the the website does have a community they have a forum so you can go on there they have recipes and games and different things but i used to do that but i thought no i don't want to. i'm just on there to use their diary to help me lose weight and at the moment it is doing what i want it to do i'm keeping track of what i eating what I'm eating yes right and that is the one thing if you're out there and you're watching you're thinking I want to lose weight maybe what you should do every day is write down everything you eat and drink don't put calories into it just write down what you eat and drink then maybe sign up to my fitness maybe just sign up to my fitness pal and eat a normal day and use a diary to actually find out how much calories you eat in a day. You will see how sh a lot of food out there is, it's an amazing amount of calories. You don't realise the amount of calories in there. But as I said, this is how I lose weight. And I'm, because I'm a spoke person, because I've been there before, I know that this works. People say, oh yeah, but I've done this and it worked, and I've done that and it worked. Yes, it did work. Like Jenny Craig is all meals they supply you. Um, then when you finish that, you've got to go back to your own meal. How do you do that? Where, as I said, I'm eating my food that I want to eat. I'm not create, not buying special foods that I wouldn't buy otherwise. I've always brought frozen meals. I've always brought party pie sausage rolls. I've... I've only started buying fish to eat, so it's not something that I'm not going to eat. I wouldn't have eaten in the past. I probably would have, but 
of course I'm not cooking that is it I just buy frozen stuff I know when I seen my doctor he pointed me to an, a website not a website a channel about cooking and I did watch and I thought I don't buy them ingredients I don't I buy food that I'm going to eat it's like okay I buy this to make a dish and it's probably sitting in the cupboard the next 12 months or so and I won't use it again that is not when about losing what you just want food that you know you're going to eat again and again um I would tell him we do it we we lose weight the way we want to eat we want to lose weight um it's funny that when we're born you, you got every time you get oh why he's put on this much weight wait 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 you know but then when you get on oh my god look how much they weigh it is ridiculous so weight has always been a stigma for people if you're overweight there's something wrong with you um and it's the same with people who are underweight there's a reason for it mine is because i love food i think food is a way to cope and i'm an emotional eater when something goes wrong i eat but now there are times when um i've been upset um some like the other week when the other week i had that Join up that website and they went funko i i just as i said i just ate chocolate all day but i weighed it <laughs> i can't tell you what i was eating um and i still i think i still lost weight that week i think that is it if you you lose the weight and you think i've got to lose weight every week if you put on weight you really you're devastated I've put on weight so what you know it's just I think losing weight is hard but having to put on weight could be harder but you've got to eat more food and your stomach's not eating so all that food it's not used to eating it um I know there are things on I think my fitness pal people who want to gain weight but you know it's just a pain oh look what I got picky ginger nut mm. that will go on my diary as one ginger nut I should go I have hope you have enjoyed this video um understand that if you're trying to lose weight I understand it is hard but for me at the moment what I'm doing I find it easy even back when I lost the weight them years ago I still found it easy they always say as you get older it is harder to lose weight okay I think it's more the I don't know why they say that because as I said I've lost five and a half kilos I'm not quite sure how many weeks it is I've forgotten <laughs> um I've forgotten you want some yum, 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 yum. oh she likes this yum, yum, yum. you shouldn't have Vicky um uh, mum's a little getting a bit soft mm ginger nut mm. oh you know what would be nice would anybody like to do a swap you know i could give you a sample send you packets of what i mean like i've showed you like ginger nut and niece I did something else I showed I don't know I have to go back and check but we can different foods I would love to taste different foods more I, I had before I did a swap with someone and my swap I got sent to her I I made her look really nice well when I got the swap from her she just chucked everything in you know and it wasn't really nice she didn't really 
That was someone on Patreon. The person was in America. Some people, I don't know. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, if you know someone who is trying to lose weight and can't seem to find the way to do it, maybe direct them to this video. And I said, I'm not being paid for talking about my fitness pal. This is my experience with fitness pal. This is how I do it. Um, and it's just getting out there and doing things. And as I said, I eat the food I will eat anyway. I'm not buying any special ingredients to cook anything because I don't cook. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered. I've got a stove, but it's gas. I don't want to buy gas. You know, sometimes I wish I did. I wish it was electric. That the owners put in a gas one. But as I said, I wouldn't use it. Sometimes I like to make a queen pudding. Mwah. Queen pudding is absolutely amazing. But then I'll have to work out the calories and all this, yeah. But still it'll be nice as a treat. What else, you know? Oh, mum used to make these jam tarts. Oh, my God. They were beautiful. All it was was pastry. She'd have this enamel, enamel plate and she'd make pastry and spread it on the plate. Then she'd spread jam over it. There was some pastry she'd got left over. She'd twist the pastry and put it on top of that. Then she'd put it in the oven. And I thought she'd make them and come out and it was absolutely beautiful. I could do that in the air fryer. But making pastry, pastry has, might have to buy, it's just having pastry. Mm, I don't buy pastry, so... And there's only me, and I'll probably eat it all. I like jam. I love jam. I had a jam sandwich the other day. See, eat what you like. I had a lem lemon butter sandwich. Lemon butter is lemon curd. It just gave a fancy name, lemon butter. Um, Yeah, so I think this is getting long. It's a long video, and I will see you in my next video, which will I'll probably be changing this little girl. This is Joy. Joy, 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 down in my heart. That's where it starts. I don't know the song. So everybody, thank you again. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you. So everybody, goodbye, take care and stay warm in Australia. Stay cool in America, in England or whatever you are. Enjoy the beautiful country world that we live in. So I will see you in the next video. So bye. Bye. Oh, she's heavy. She's heavy. She's a good cuddly baby. So bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.